Ken Loach's films are always popular at the film festival and this year Jadif screened Root Irish. The great Ken Loach directed. Now, he's known for his unconventional kind of filmmaking, so how did you find working with him? Well, a lot of the time you do know what's going to happen and there's certain times when he does things which are quite unpredictable and you call that being loached. Because you don't, you don't really get a script or you, or you get your script as you go along. You're kind of, you're kind of living the character's story as the character is living it within the film. So, you know, you, 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 you can't plan, as an actor, you can't plan the journey to the film. You know, you, you're just kind of, uh, you're finding out what, what's going on with your character as the film unfolds. So it's a very interesting way of working. I know you've been to other film festivals with the movie. I know Cannes. Um, how do we compare here on Don't Judge Us on the Weather? <laughs> uh, I think it's great. I love it. I definitely, um, I'd like to come back again. It's a shame we're only here for, for the filming and tomorrow, but it's fantastic. Yeah, it's lovely. I've, I've worked in. I didn't get to go to Cannes, so I don't have Cannes to compare it to. But yeah, exactly. You're the best. But um, yeah, I've worked here before, and it's just always a pleasure to come back to Dublin. The people are great, and it's just a shame we're not here for longer. Every year, hundreds of towns and cities around the world host film festivals, but. What makes a good film festival great? Well, I caught up with the directors of the Toronto, the Buenos Aires and the Krakow Film Festivals to find out. You know, a good film festival, I think, meets a lot of different needs. needs. There's the public uh, who are being exposed to films that they might not have a chance to see otherwise. Then there's filmmakers and the film industry themselves. This is a place for them to come together and uh, meet, to, uh, to, uh, talk about ways in which they're going to get their films out to audiences and talk about ways in which uh, their next projects um, are going to get made. Keen audiences, so people actually want to watch those films because, you know, if you make this amazing effort like Gronje does um, and you bring all those fantastic films to, to Dublin in this case, it's really great when people appreciate it and they're actually interested and they want to, to find out what's there. For me, it's very important that the festival has a taste, that the festival promote the new filmmakers. I don't like so much the red carpet film festivals because I think that the, the best tribute or homage to a, to a filmmaker is to show the film properly. Have you found that um, social um, social networking like Twitter and Facebook and things, even like festival TV, have helped to get punters kind of bums on seats um, at the film festivals? Social media has made a huge difference in festivals in you know just the last five years. Uh, you know, I think back to uh, before social media at a film festival, filmmakers were desperate to reach you know. A handful of journalists, and those journalists were going to be the gatekeepers to getting their getting word about their film out there. Um, of course, those journalists are still important and reach a uh, large audience, but no longer do you have to be you know, banging on the door of those journalists. If those journalists won't write about your film, now you have all kinds of other ways to get the word out about your film, whether it's Twitter or Facebook or. YouTube or uh, interviews like this. Let's face it, we have to really adjust and adapt to what's happening out there. And um, it's it's easier to reach, especially younger audiences, via Facebook or MySpace or you know even websites at times. But then you have to advertise the content of the website somewhere, and you have to draw audiences to that somehow. And I think it's actually much much easier these days via Facebook, for example. I mean, that's what we do. We we post quite a lot of things from even when we travel to other festivals. We let people know what we're doing. So I'm not saying that they all care, but you know, some of them might. Some of them might be interested in what's playing at other festivals. So we'll tell them it's kind of like a blog. And I know that lots of festivals do the same thing, and I think it is much, much easier that way. Mm -hmm.